I'm sure we've all had the same panic guilt feeling, not to mention the hand cramps, of when our professor changes the slide too soon before we're ready, and we have to sit back with a sigh before rushing back to reality and scribbling away at our notes again. Staring down at your mess of notes while trying to study, it's hard to be motivated when you have to try and make sense of what you wrote down in the first place. All that really does is confuse us and raise our stress levels. How many of you have been studying and wish you had that one little portion of the lecture recorded, just for one slight moment? Hello, my name is Savannah Grampian and I have definitely fallen victim to the indecipherable words and misunderstood concepts written in my notebook. First, I will speak on the disadvantages of not having any lecture recordings in your courses. Second, I will describe the benefits of having recorded lectures. And finally, I will tell you about the results of students that did have recorded lectures for their courses. Before all else, we should discuss the shortcomings of students that do not have access and have to solely rely on their notes to study. The process of note taking takes away from the experience of fully grasping what the lecturer is explaining. This adds stress to the student because instead of listening to the instructor, students are stressed about grasping every word, which only worsens material absorption. With our attention zoned in on writing everything down, just in case it's on the exam, we miss the entire core concept of what is being taught. As Ben Davis stated in his article, it's difficult to focus on the content and record the takeaways. According to the end of note-taking, note-taking is known to impose significant demands on a student's working memory, and its usefulness compared to full attentiveness in class is debatable. The stress that accompanies students and their need to copy, paste PowerPoints word for word creates an atmosphere lacking any learning, completely annihilating any memory of what is taught in that hour or so of class. The author of Why Stress Annihilates Learning states when our stress response, aka our fight or flight, is activated stress hormones turn off the part of our brain that allows us to focus on uh, attention, understand ideas, and commit things to memory. The benefits of recording lectures outweighs the fault, starting with allowing students to learn at their own speed and actually participating in class. Every student is different and not every student learns the same way, so participating in lecture recordings provides students with their ability to learn through their own comfortable setting. Nick Morrison wrote in his Forbes article, one possible explanation for the effectiveness of video lectures is that it allows students to learn at their own speed, to stop when they're feeling overwhelmed, to stop when they want to take notes, or to just fast forward if they already know it. With their ability to view lectures again and at their own time, students are more attentive and relaxed during lectures, allowing for more interaction and in-depth conversation and higher student participation. Contrary to some might think, in their article, Singer and Samson wrote, if students aren't burdened with note-taking, they can spend more time asking questions. This is the foundation of engagement, and it is the best predictor of education outcomes. One of the biggest critiques of lecture recordings is that it may lead to a drop in student attendance. Studies have found that this is just not the case. When in implementing lecture recordings into the course, the statistics the statistics show that the students are actually happy with their learning process and have an easier, less burdensome time studying. It has also shown a decline in student stress levels and improvement in mental health. In a research paper based on lecture capture, they found that 63% of students were satisfied with the lecture capture and 75% of students indicated that it had facilitated their learning. In the same paper, they found that student satisfaction had a significant positive relationship with the number of lectures they actually were saw that were recorded. Students, especially in college, deal with a lot of stress-related mental health troubles focused around school environment. And professors allowing lecture recordings have been found to have better disanxiety. Judy Willis states in her article, when teachers use strategies to reduce stress and build positive emotional environments, students gain emotional resilience and learn more efficiently and at higher levels of cognition. With all these contributions to student mental health and happiness, we need to take a good consideration about giving students this opportunity of recorded lectures. Without the access to lecture recordings, students have to rely on their notes and memory, neither of which is trustworthy when in a stressful school environment. When a professor and universities provide students with these recordings, the worries lessen, and students are able to fully be attentive in class and ask questions that need to be asked. These benefits create an atmosphere of educational joy and motivation. It 
it is our responsibility as students, as educators and future leaders to speak with our professors, to speak with our campus leaders and to go to our school boards and inform them of the importance of peace of mind and relief for students when these recorded lectures are available. Making our voices heard is the key to this change. So next time you're sitting in class scrambling away, contemplate the educational experience all students can have if they just have extra recordings. Thank you.